actually pops up was. So, what, when you were a kid, what kind of ambitions did you have? What did you think you would become except baseline, MC baseline? Well, growing up, I like uh, getting to 16, nearly leaving school, I didn't have a clue what the hell I was going to do. I just thought to myself, uh, I've just got to go out there and do it. That's why I got a simple job in a tips and shoe shop. See what I mean? Serving people with shoes. It was funny for me, but I didn't, I, I wasn't happy to be there. I knew there was bigger things. So then I got a, a job with more money at Land Rover with my mum. And I worked there and I saved some money and that's when I left home. Okay. Um, who's moving on to music now? Um, what, what's your, uh, do you do any um, niche based on the new speed garage? Uh, speed garage, I can spit on speed garage. Uh, not a problem to me. Hip hop, I can spit on. Uh, probably the only thing I can't spit on that is uh, Pavarotti music, you know. Can't really work with that. Fair enough. And, um, and new MCs is coming through. We've got a few, um, Janae and Abdul, you can let you uh, they're, um, they're, they're pretty keen. What advice now? How, did, how are MCs breaking through now? Well, just do a mix CD, sit at home where you feel happy amongst your friends, and then just put on a CD and chat. Then you can tell from the way you're breaking and you're breathing what you have to do. Get that CD expertly and then dish out 20 copies. Someone will hear it and listen and book you. Just like that. Don't stop. If you've got a passion for music and MC and following, because look at me, I didn't think a black man like myself would ever get through. Because at the times when I was growing up, I came from Jamaica, there was a lot of racial. Asians stayed with Asians, blacks stayed with blacks, whites with whites. There was a lot of anti-racial national front, so I just stuck to what I knew in my culture. A lot of Asians I knew because I grew up in Salt Lake. Do you know what I mean? Naseby School, I knew everybody in there, so as I'm trying to say to you, if you've got a passion for the music and you can mix and you can chat, follow it through, please. Uh, just what you touched on through there, um, when I we first went to Flashback, one of the rave, um, I was amazed that no matter what you, whatever you do in a school, race, colour, anything, it's everybody coming together, and that was a big thing for me. And it's amazing that, okay, we're living in, we come to, mostly Asian school, Pakistani school, but it's essentially, it's not about colour. Oh, it's, it's nothing to do with colour, because as I say, I was separated, because it was blacks with blacks, but over the years of MC, I, I don't look at you as a separate person for myself, you're equal just like me. I talk, you eat, you go to the toilet, you do everything just like me, do you understand me? So, I don't look at colour no more, colour don't interest me, you could be an alien, I'm still communicating with you, just like that. Everybody is one level, do you understand? So forget about the colour, Polish, this man, this man, he smells, forget about that. Because he's an individual human just like yourself. Thank you. Okay. Um, just a couple of, anybody got any questions? Any questions? Well, I was born in Jamaica, but I live up in uh, Warstock now, in top of Kingsley. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Any other questions? Yes? What's your real name? Uh, my real name is uh, Derek Michael Smith. Simple, Smith Chris. Derek Michael Smith, but well, please don't spread it around too much. Yeah. <laughs> any others? Any questions? Any other questions? I don't really want to go into that. I drive a few cars, really. Um, Audi, uh, BMW, and, uh, and Nissan. Right, and, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then uh, I'll invite some. We've got Janine and Abdul. Um, should, we, uh, should we invite them up in a few minutes? Yeah? Do you want to invite them now? Yeah?